Now is the time to strike. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And today I just wanted to have a quick chat about people moving to get into the mining industry. So at the moment, WA is closed off from the rest of the country, but that border will fall in early February or late January, it looks like it. However, the border between New South Wales and Victoria has already fallen and the border between Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland will fall um, at the middle of January. I think it's, uh, sorry, December. I think it's December the 17th that they um, that, that comes down. And the reason that I'm saying that is at the moment, because if you're in WA at the moment, now before that border comes down is going to be your best chance of getting yourself into the mining industry. And if you really want in, the place to go is Hard Rock Underground. You just have to type underground in to seek and you can see all the jobs come up. And there's lots of entry-level jobs and nipper and truck driving jobs going. You just have to be able to show the employers that you know what you're getting yourself into. You can use our sponsor's win-win training package to do that. It gives you all the training that you need to get the job and it also has a uh, resume and interview package which win-win helps you do your resume and they help you with the interview prep and you get all your mining knowledge from the online underground training courses which have that all that important information that the employer wants you to know. So that's a good way to get yourself organised in a hurry and then if you're in WA um, you can have a go at getting yourself a fly and fly out job out of Perth there's a number of those going at the moment but if you really want to strike I would head up to Kalgoorlie um, everybody that has done the training that's head to Kalgoorlie in the last six months has walked straight into a job um, they're screaming for people and the reason that I say that is because um, when this border comes down in um, late January or early February there's going to be a heap of people pouring across from the eastern states that have prepared themselves properly that are ready to go so if you want to get in get in now and the same thing happens in the eastern states i've had a couple of people in victoria that have decided to drive their way up through new south wales to queensland to get a job in mount isa and they'd stop off at the mines on the way to see if anything was going and one of the guys left um, a week ago from victoria and the first mine that he stopped at he ended up getting offered a job and the whole reason reason behind that was because he was able to communicate with the employer about what was going on, show, him, show the employer that he knew what, how the mining industry worked, what he was getting himself into. He was able to answer basic mining questions from the training. He had a really good resume which helped him get through and because of the interview prep he knew how to handle himself just even working with the, uh, through the receptionist. With mining jobs I tell people always that right from the word go the first person that you talk to assume that you're being interviewed because the industry is really stretched at the moment and people that are making decisions about um, who gets hired often rely on what other people think below them so it's really important to make a good impression all the way through that's the big thing is to be able to um, move quickly um, show them that you know what you're getting yourself into and commit to it so if you're trying to get into the mining industry at the moment like I said Hard Rock Underground is where all the jobs are they have released Released a few surface jobs the other day, BHP and another of the other companies. But you know, it's a thirty-person traineeship that you know probably thirty thousand people are going to apply for. Whereas that if you're happy to spend you know eight hundred dollars on a training package and getting your resume redone, and you're more than happy to go up to Kalgoorlie, you're probably going to walk into a job within a couple of weeks. Um, that's the difference, you know. Th that's where the jobs are. Um, yeah, iron ore up in the Pilbara, they're replacing everybody with driverless trucks. It's just the way it's going, unfortunately. And there's been lots of articles around. Rio just announced a couple of months ago, or a month ago now, that you know their goal is 80% driverless by the end of 2022. BHP's not far behind them with the same sort of targets for the end of 2023. Um, that means that you know the, the jobs that people dream about and think about and fantasize about they aren't there anymore um you know there's no easy way of saying that but yeah there are still lots of jobs there if you don't want to have a crack at hard rock underground then i suggest you um 
have a chat to Alana and a staff at Win Win. They'll be able to help you into a utility role. And there is a bit of construction work going on around the place um, on mine site. So that's also firing back up and they can help you prepare a resume for that. So that's the way that I would go. And that's what I just wanted to talk about quickly is that um, once this border opens back up again, there's going to be lots of people flood in. So if you want a mining job or you want to you know, get yourself into the industry before that happens and before we have an influx of people from the eastern states, now is probably the time to do it. If you're in the eastern states, then you've got opportunity in New South Wales and Queensland, but you've, you know, you've also got a couple of months to prepare yourself if you want to relocate to Kalgoorlie because you know there's going to be lots of jobs there. As long as you prepare yourself and you're committed to coming across, then you, you'll probably end up with a good result. So I hope you found that information helpful. And if you have got any more questions, please let me know. And if you could like the channel and subscribe to the channel, that would be wonderful. If you could like the video, that would be great and share the video around. And if you, yeah, like I said, if you've got any more questions, please send them through. Thanks.